All right, so let's do the first things first. We always have to get this out of the way. Nothing we say is intended uh, 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 as anything other than educational purposes only. Uh, No promises of success are to be understood as expressed or implied. You're probably here because you feel the pain of day trading and you can't seem to to get away from it. I don't imagine you're here because you're you're unless you're just one of our traders and you like to come to these uh, events. Uh, I wanted to to invite you folks here that have have been struggling with trading. And I know the struggle, and I know the pain. And I have been trading since 5, 26 years. The first seven were total pain. Um, and I could go into the, my whole story, but we'll, we'll, talk, we'll save that for another time. So what we want to do here is, uh, you know, kind of we're going to point out some of the pains of day trading and try to zero in on some of them that you may or may not know that you're feeling or they may be tied to other things. And then we'll go to another, the second part, and we'll talk about how to go about fixing that, okay? So we all know there's a, a tremendous pain uh, in day trading. We, we, we decide that we're going to be a day trader, right? And... We load ourselves up on day trading tools and day trading education, and then we have our hopes and dreams about what day trading can do, and then all we have to do is just haul off and smack that nail on the head with all of these day trading tools and education and hopes and dreams, and it seems so simple, but somehow we seem to be missing the hopes and dreams and causing ourselves a great deal of pain, and then we do it again, and then we do it again, and then we do it again. And we do it over and over and over again, and some of us (laughs) do it have been doing it since 2002 or longer. Um, But there's something about day trading. The promise that it seems to hold for us keeps us coming back. So what we want to do today is try to kind of help you understand, you know, what the problem is. Let's see if we can get your aim a little better and maybe even hit the nail on the head. Um, you know, we've been trading the same system here since 2009, and for those of you that are challenged at math, that's that's 15 years. Uh, and we've been teaching the exact same thing for 15 years. It doesn't change. It just keeps getting better. So there are not many people out there in the Internet world teaching day trading and providing the tools that can say they've been at it for 15 years. Um, and, you know, like people that I just pointed out that are that are trade room members, they've been coming day after day for years. And if it didn't work, I don't think they would do it. You know, I, I believe they're reasonably intelligent people and they would stop coming if it didn't work. So that's really um, the best predictor on what you, you can do with it is how are other people doing with it. So we're going to talk about the pain points real quick, and I'm going to bring up some things that, you know, you may or may not know. Um, and, and we're going to talk about these pain points, not because I think you don't know what they are, but because you need to know that you're not alone, okay? All traders have a difficult road to travel, and most can't tolerate the pain, so they quit. And even though the pain is obvious and often debilitating, Sometimes we aren't really aware of the exact cause. And if we're aware of the cause, maybe we can better address the pains of day trading and learn how to avoid them in the future. So we're going to talk about that in part one. Um, and, and I realize 
for a lot of you that are here today, this is not what you were hoping to hear, okay? I'm going to lose some of you that are here just to gather more information about how to place winning trades, okay? Many of us in day trading believe it's all about, I just need to know how to place winning trades. That's it. That's all there is to it. I'll just keep looking. I'll just skip all this other part about pain and emotions and all this other stuff. Just tell me when to place a trade. If, you know, events like this, probably the most important but least valued by struggling traders. I've spoken to a number of our traders and asked them, what it was that convinced them to adopt some of the things I'll be talking about. And they all said that they had to be in a place in their trading where they were willing to consider that what they were doing and how they were doing it wasn't getting it done. And if you aren't there yet, you may want to just skip this, okay? If you're, if you're sick of the pain, though, then I hope you'll stick around. I'll also take some uh, time to answer questions at the end. All right, so we're going to talk about pain points. First of all, what what started you in trading? What 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 drew you to the fact to to trading that made you think it was something that you really wanted to do? I mean, it, maybe it looked interesting. It certainly looks easy, right? It's it it can be exciting. I mean, Las Vegas was built on excitement, right? So we, we, we get up, and I remember specifically, now I get up, and I get my coffee, and I trade, and I just sit down, and it's just like going to work. But it used to be so exciting when I would sit down, and my heart would start racing, and my palms would get sweaty, and I just couldn't wait to place that first trade because it was going to make so much money, and I was so excited. So that may be what got you started in day trading. Maybe you wanted to just start a business, but you saw that, you know, with just a little money, you can you can get into day trading by just opening a trading account, and and you don't have to worry about all the other things that small business owners have to worry about. Flexibility and autonomy is also uh, a um, something that most people really want out of day trading. They don't want to have to. Uh, uh, you know, live that structured life of having to work f uh, for a company. Um, certainly unlimited income potential, the ability to travel and have lots of free time with family and friends and uh, no more, you know, commuting to work, uh, no more having a boss to report to, um, you know, in control of your own financial destiny. That that was a big one for me, um, even though I was a contractor and I owned my own business and I felt somewhat in control. You know, the customer is always in control or the economy or, you know, uh, there's all kinds of other things that I couldn't control. So um I thought, well, I can certainly control my destiny if I just sit and day trade all day. So that may be what appealed to you to get to to get involved with day trading. Here's uh, unfortunately your reality, but it actually I'm going from my experience. So this was really my reality, but. Maybe some of this will resonate with you, and if it does, go ahead and type it in there and let me know that you see yourself in some of this. So you probably sit there day after day and watch the charts and, and place trades, and and you've, you've come to the conclusion it doesn't matter what you do. It just seems like it's going to be wrong. Seems like it always is wrong. If you had just done the opposite thing, you would have been a winner. You seem to win when you're sim trading, but you lose when you go live with real money. You 
you hate watching others win because it just makes you feel stupid. It's not that you don't want other people to win. It's just that you can't and you haven't. And you want to know why you're so stupid or you don't have the uh, the proper characteristics to be good at something that seems so simple. Maybe you feel guilty because you promised someone or yourself that you could do this and it just has been going on and on and on. And so far, you don't really have a handle on it yet. You feel stupid because you can't figure it out. Uh, you think... You work very hard at your trading. I thought for those seven years I was struggling. Man, I was burning the midnight oil trying to figure stuff out. Why can't I get this done? Why can't I do this? So I was doing all the stuff that you do when you're trying to figure it out. And I thought that was working at your trading. And, and uh, come to find out it's really not. You may have, either you already have, or you will try to develop your own trading system because nothing else you have tried has worked. So you start to develop your own trading system and see how that goes. Then after that, you think, okay, maybe auto trading might be a better option because I can't seem to place a trade that goes in my direction very often, but I bet a computer can do it. So I'm going to take the responsibility off of myself and I'm going to put it on the computer. So there's a huge interest in auto trading and in, in the uh, trading industry, especially in day trading. And I, like I said, I've been doing this for about 25 years. I haven't met one person that successfully has traded an auto trader consistently over time. Not to say they're not there, but I get the chance to meet a lot of people and talk with a lot of people. And after 25 years, I've not met one. That I've met a lot of people that says, oh yeah, my, my auto trader's working great, making tons of money. It's like, all right. Come back to me in a year and tell me how that's going. And they, they all quit. So if you have tried auto trading, you have back tested and back tested and back tested and back tested some more and done everything you can. And then you turn it on live with real money and it just doesn't seem to perform the way you back tested it, does it? In fact, it doesn't even get close. On any, tip, on any day, you could overtrade and have paralysis by analysis. And, and you can do one or the other or both in the same day. Because you don't really have a handle on what you're doing and what's going on. You have no control to affect anything to do with trading, which was one of the things that maybe had attracted you to trading is that you could control your destiny, right? That Like we talked about um, on the other slide, but you're coming to find out you control nothing. Um, this was a big aha for me, and that was that after all those years of collecting information, I was no better at trading than I was the very first day I tried it. And you have probably either quit before and come back or you're considering quitting soon if things don't change. Can anybody resonate with any of this? Was this just me? Or does this feel like maybe I have a camera on your computer watching you. We all struggle with at least some of these things when we're trying to figure out this trading thing. So then we, we kind of want to start looking for new systems, new indicators, new trade rooms, new whatever, to see if we can get around 
these issues that we seem to be having, but the whole elephant in the room is one thing, and that's emotions. And we know this, right? It's always there. You start your day with emotions. You're emotional while you're trading. You're emotional after you trade. So it's all about emotions, and you've heard this before. And then what you typically hear is you've got to manage your emotions. Trade like a machine, right? Has that been the best advice you've ever gotten on dealing with emotions? You've got to learn how to manage your emotions. So by golly, that's what I kept trying to do. And I might be able to stick with it for an hour or two, maybe even a day. I'd hate to say maybe a week, but probably not a week. But I would work, 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 try, try, try to manage my emotions. But I couldn't get it done. And I couldn't get it done because your emotions as it relates to day trading, it's like a tangled up ball. It's a mess. And you can't readily distinguish one emotion from another when you have this tangled up mess. Um, Even though when we're trying to fix this emotional issue that we're having, There are so many aspects to it that it's impossible to focus on, okay, I'm not going to be afraid. Okay, I'm just not going to be afraid. Because you have all of the other emotions knotted up around the afraid emotion, and you can't single it out. So we've got fear, stress, anger, frustration, sadness, guilt, and there's a lot more. Those are just the ones I just put that we all deal with. All you want to do is day trade. But this knotted, tangled up ball of emotions is keeping you from being successful. And you know it. But you don't really know what to do about it. Other than I'll go try a different indicator or I'll try a different trading system or I'll try different something. So we might go try reading books. That's, man, I did. Or or go and read trading forums where these people will go on forums and they'll, they'll pose as professional guru traders that have all this great advice and everybody thinks they're wonderful. And um, I promise you, if you're reading trading forums, you're reading from people who are also struggling and, don't know the first thing about uh, what it is to be a successful trader, but they do get a lot of thrill out of having people think they're a good trader. All right, so those are the people that you're really reading on forums. Those of us that are professional traders that have been doing it for a while, we don't have time for trading forums, nor the need or, or desire to sit and read about other people's problems. Uh, unless you're a hobbyist, you know, and I'm not. I, I'm, I was for a long time, but now it's just a job. So we may we may try to read a bunch of books uh, and address the issue by reading books, or or we'll be watching videos. How do I fix my problem? You may be watching this on video right now. Um, this will be distributed, by the way, and I'll email it to you guys that are here. Um. So we watch a lot of videos, and we're hoping that maybe that little kernel of, of truth is in there that's going to unravel all of this for me, that little tiny thing that's going to fix it. I just need to look for that little tiny thing. Or you go and you start downloading anything free you can find to try to either build another trading system or help you with your problem because we're all about adding tools and learning stuff or at least acquiring information. 
were all about acquiring tools and acquiring information. And I, I had folders and folders and folders of indicators that I would download for free and slap them on a chart and look at them and go, eh, that might be kind of cool, or eh, that doesn't fix my problem and get rid of it. And I didn't even know what it did. Or, you know, just I had no idea. I was just trying to come up with some sort of a recipe that just poof, automatically worked. So, you know, free stuff is about uh, worth what you pay for it. Um, we try building it ourselves. Like I said, you know, we try to cobble together some stuff. A lot of free stuff that we downloaded. Uh, and <laughs> then do our back testing to see if it if it works. And then you throw a bunch of money at it and turn it on and start trading it. And it, that, it didn't work so well. Or, like I said, you want to remove yourself from the responsibility and get the computer to do it for you. That has crossed all of our minds. We, we re, it, it's very appealing to think about, ah, if I could just turn the computer on, turn on the auto trader, go play golf, and come home to buckets of money. I mean, it seems doable, doesn't it? Seems like that should be doable. Another thing about auto traders, if if they if they really worked, wouldn't we all be using them? Or you just you just want to you don't want to deal with the this mess of frustrations and 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 these emotions and this tangled ball. It's a lot to deal with, and if you don't know how to deal with it, you don't know where to start. You don't know how to get started untangling these emotions. So here we are again. We've got our big hammer of trading tools and education. We've got our hopes and dreams, the nail, and we're struggling with these emotions that cause us to really lose our aim. Okay. What are you most likely to hit? The pain is when you're trying to work so hard at making money, you lose the whole reason that you're doing this, okay? Are you thinking about, you know, money? Or are you thinking about your hopes and dreams for the future and what it takes to do that? Are you thinking about um, having fun or the excitement or the other things that got you into training? Or are you thinking about money most every minute of your um, trading session before, during, and after. So now we're going to talk about part two. How do we avoid this? We all feel it. We've all been there. How are we going to avoid this? So we've got this nasty ball of emotions but let's look at uh, let's analyze these emotions a little bit and define them a little bit better so fear okay fear fear of what fear of losing money uh, again what are you stressed about losing money again why do you get why does it make you angry because you had money and now you don't. Because the markets just took it from you. What's the frustration all about? You're frustrated. You can't seem to quit losing money. 
sadness about having, you know, the hopes and dreams that you'll be able to earn unlimited money seems to be slipping away or, or just sad that you lost money again. You know, guilt that your significant other worked hard for the money that is now gone again. Okay? So what if we could untangle all of the emotions? Would you do it? It seems like a really simple answer. But it's amazing how many people sort of kind of try and fail, then quit trying, and instead start looking for indicators and chart types and trading systems and all the technical aspects of trading, which is the easy part, right? But there is something, actually two things, that will set you on the right track. With these two things, you'll start very quickly to unravel the tangled mess of emotions. Okay, so look carefully at this ball of emotions. You'll see there is something at the core of them. What do you think it is? We've already talked about it. Money is at the core of all emotions. So, what are we going to do about it? It's not immediately noticeable though, right? But it does consume us. What we think is, Okay, I just got to add one more indicator. I just got to, you know, look at one more trade room or one more system or one more whatever to get you over that hump. Because a lot of us feel like we're really close, almost there, really close to turning this around, which is also what keeps us uh, at it for so long without being successful. It's because we're almost over. Man, I had a winning day yesterday. I made a lot of money. I'm almost there. But the money part just consumes us. We think about it before we start each day, while we're trading, after we've stopped. It's always at top of mind. So, so are our emotions. So we need to remove money from your trading. What? Remove money from day trading? Isn't day trading all about money? It's 100% about money, right? Isn't it? Every time price moves up or down, I mean, price, that's about money. So how do you remove it from day trading? So this is, this is so simple. Studying books and videos, creating your own system, and all the other things you're trying to do is only addressing the symptoms of your trading issues, not the cause. Money is by far the worst thing that you could be thinking about while trying to trade. So how many of you trade with real money but don't really have confidence in what you're doing. Anybody? You go and, and start trading, but you're not 100% confident that you've got a real good edge. Anybody? <laughs> Are you laughing because, because I, I see you? But you're not confident you have edge, uh, you have an edge, but you sure have hope, right? Oh, I hope, I hope, I hope. Do you hear that going on in your head every time you put on a trade? I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. I hope it goes in my direction. Oh, I hope it turns around. Oh, I hope I don't get killed here. How many of you look at your broker statement every day if you traded that day? How many of you, you get it in your email, right? As Mine comes in email every day. 
How many of you look at it every day, even though you know how the day went? You know whether you made money or lost money. You still want to look at that broker statement every day or your P&L while you're trading. If you lost money, how does that affect you? Or if you made money, how does it affect you? What it is, is either one of those, it controls you. And it's generating emotions, generally negative. You might feel some elation at times, but you can't leave emotion out of your money decisions. And trading is nothing but, for most of us, has been nothing but decisions about money. You cannot do it. You know why? Because you're human. If your brain is turned on, you're having emotions. Emotions are with us all the time. You cannot remove your emotions from trading. You cannot manage your emotions either. Okay? But you can leave money out of your trading decisions. So what we need to do is remove the need to try to manage your emotions, okay? That's what I talk to all of our traders about. That's part of our Fast Forward uh, Education Program. You don't remove the emotions. You can't. That's just dumb. But if you do the best you can to remove the need to manage emotions, well, now we might have something. So in our pullback trading, there's no need to manage emotions. We're in and out of trades sometimes in seconds. So our exposure is limited. We don't even have time to hope. We don't have time to second guess our decisions. We don't have time to worry. And like Keith posted, you can look at uh, this high probability of winning. This is our, uh, for over the last four years, we've got uh, uh, one of our traders who is a budget analyst for big corporations, or used to be. Um, he does uh, He does the... Uh, audit every year and uh so we we just post it and the nice thing is is you all you need to do is develop a skill you don't have to reinvent the wheel you do have to work at performance you have to react to the current conditions in the market and that's it you just sit there until it's time to react we don't do any type of analysis we don't we, you you don't need to recreate your own system you don't need to auto trade all you need to do is show up and react to the conditions that you've been practicing during off hours that's part, another part of our fast-forward um, education system is we teach you how to practice and what to practice. And you should be doing that every day. And you get to a point where you start to earn your confidence. And then when you sit down in the morning to start trading, you're no longer nervous or excited or anything. It's just, you know, the markets are going to give you what they're going to give you. And then you react, and that's all there is to it. So this is just an exercise to stop thinking about money. So trading is no longer about money. It's just about a job, right? This is what I do every morning. It's just my job. So that's all you need to do is just do your job like you do 
the job that you have now or your previous job or profession or whatever, you know, you showed up and you got the work done. And if you did a good job, you got a paycheck and you got to come back next week and do it again. Right? You just do your job. If you were driven by money, every minute of every day that you were performing your job, rather than doing your job, you're thinking about money, you're probably not going to do very good at that job, right? Well, that's exactly what you're doing in day trading. All right, so what what is your job? When you're day trading, what is your job? What are the top five jobs when you sit down at your computer to start day trading? What are the top five jobs that you should be doing? Okay, I'll give you the first one. Execute your trade plan. Trade plan? Well, why do I need a trade plan if I don't even know how to trade yet? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's part of your trade plan though. So it's there you're still you 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 don't need to dive into all the aspects of your trade plan. You just need to execute that plan. So what's number 2? No, the rules are in your trade plan. Number 2, 3, 4 and 5, they don't exist. You have one job. You only have one job. Execute your trade plan. That's it. That's your only job. So trading plan. What's in the trading plan? You guys are hitting on it already. First, you got to define what type of trading system to use. We'd love you to use ours, but you have to define which one you're going to use. What style of trading? Are you going to be a scalper or a swing trader or an investor or somewhere, you know, a momentum trader or, you know, there's just whatever, breakout, uh, whatever. But you have to decide on a style of trading that you're going to do, when to enter a trade, when to exit a trade, how to control risk, the rules of the trade setups, the markets traded, when to trade, when not to trade, and skill development and your objectives. That's a trade plan. Guess what? It's also a job description. If you went, if you came to work for me and I hired you, that would be your job description. It would also be the trade plan. You have one job. Execute the trade plan. Now, worry about money. Where on this list do you see anything about money? Nowhere. Doesn't fit. Not your job while you're trading. Certainly, you trade for money, right? Certainly, you're there for money. But you've got to, the money is the byproduct of what it is you're supposed to be doing. of the job you're supposed to be doing, just like any other job. If you do a good job, you'll make money. But if you're thinking about money all the time, it's going to be a mess. You've, you've got, you know, if you're thinking about money, that's the same thing as, as filling yourself up with this big ball of emotions. So we've got to get rid of it. You've got to block it out. And as you get rid of those emotions, your confidence is going to start to go up. But it doesn't just happen automatically. You have to do the work, right? You thought you were working at trading before when you're on the computer and you're watching videos and you're, 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 you're trying this and you're trying that and you're just bouncing all over the place and you think you're working at your trading. But you're, you're really not because there is a process to how this works and, and 
We all want trading to be different than everything else that we ever done because we still have these underlying assumptions and expectations that trading should be easy. Trading is fun, it's easy, it's exciting, and that's what we came into trading with. Now we think that we're going to find a way to do that, and it's still fun and easy and exciting. We have a hard time dropping the assumptions and expectations that we came into trading with. Just like any bad habit, it takes a while to condition yourself away from a bad habit. So what we want to do is condition you to stop thinking about money at the same time you we condition you to start learning that you can actually do this. That's a big thing. Most of you have no idea if you can consistently be a winning trader. So we want to start putting some consecutive days of even the teeniest wins in the bank. Just anything less, anything more than zero. And see how many days in a row you can do just that. And yes, you can't make an income doing that. But you can learn something. You can learn that you actually can be a winning trader. And now you have something to grow from. And your confidence begins to grow. So here's a, uh, uh, I should have had this ready for you, Keith. Uh, we're going to have another event. This is also a video that I recommend to people. It's called uh, Two Ticks to Paradise. This is a challenge that you can do to earn confidence. Okay, so you watch this video. It's on our page, uh, a registration page that we have that you can also register for part two of this event, which is this Thursday, same time on Thursday. So you can see this video on that link and also register for Thursday's event. Okay. So what is it that we do? I think a lot of you know what we do, but let's go through it quickly. Okay. We're pullback traders. Pullback trades are cyclical and predictable. That's what makes this so simple. Okay? So what we're looking at here is a couple of trades. This looks like any regular day in our trade room. Could have been today. Could have been 10 years ago. It's the same over and over and over again. So what we're looking for is... Trading has been in a tight channel, right? Like this right here. It's just kind of, you know, it looks like not much is going on. It's probably an area of accumulation or distribution. We don't know. It looks like nobody's really interested in trading. So what are we doing? Are we trying to trade that? No. What we're doing is we're just waiting for the next step of the process. That next step is price breaking out of the channel. We have a channel, then price suddenly bursts out of that channel. This is the moan meter that, I don't remember who that was that said that, um, but love the moan meter. Uh, this, that's this indicator that turns the bars different colors. The lighter the bar gets, the more imminent the exhaustion. Okay, so we're measuring momentum. So we get this breakout of price. We're seeing an increase, and we, we want to see this strong increase in momentum so that we can anticipate the upcoming weakness. Why is there upcoming weakness? Why, why do we expect there to be weakness? Because at levels, 
People take profits. They run the price up and they start taking profits. That's why price never moves in one direction for an extended period of time. So on this, price is becoming oversold. That's this pink outline. We have a pullback alert and a ricochet, which is when the big players are, are or the, uh, the big player jumping in. That's the speed tick. Okay, this is where we're reading the rate at which orders are being processed. And we figure out that, okay, if it goes beyond a certain rate, there's no way us little retail traders could trade that fast. So it's got to be something else. And that's what we're trying to pick up is when the, the big players are jumping in and they're manipulating price, okay? And then volume starts switching hands. That's what this little dot here is telling us. There is a whole lot of algorithms going on inside that little dot, okay? Uh, but we want to make things as easy as possible. These are called our heads-up display. What you're seeing here, right here, on this chart, right here, that's all we look at to make trade decisions. There are no other charts. There are no other time frames. There are no other windows open. If I'm trading this instrument, this is all I'm looking at to keep it simple. Okay? Price and momentum have diverged. That's two different things. That's that's 3D that you see right here. That's our um, Super D indicator. And then when we have a confluence of conditions, this rock star will print. Only with a confluence of these conditions does this make it a rock star trade setup. So, uh, Gene, I want you to understand that just because a rock star prints, that does not make it a trade setup. And we can talk about this more. In fact, I'll try to bring it up on um, Thursday so that, uh, and I will explain how we prepare for a rock star trade setup. We get lots of rock stars that we don't trade. What we want to see first is a strong potential for exhaustion for price to pull back. Okay? So without a strong push, we don't trade the rock stars. So what we're going to do is right here on the open of this bar, that's when this star is going to print. On the open of this bar, that's where we're going to uh, execute our trade and, and uh, we'll be selling this. Okay? So that's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, price breaks out of the channel. Big money manipulation. The volume is turning. It's changing directions. We, put, we place an order when the rock star prints. And it happens over and over again every day. So characteristics of our trading style, low exposure time. Where's the most dangerous place for traders to have their money? In the market, right? If you're out of the market, you're safe. So we want low exposure. We don't even want them to know we're there. We're in and out so fast that the big boys can't track us. They don't know what we're doing. They don't They don't uh, even care because we're not even after big, huge uh, trades. We have our, our high probability trade setups, uh, the heads-up display indicators. Like I say, what you see right there is all we use. And we only have yes or no decisions. Does this condition exist? Do we have a confluence of conditions? Yes, take the trade. No, just sit and wait. So we don't have to do any type of market analysis or wondering what's going on or wondering what caused what or any of that. I know a lot of hobbyists like to do that. We don't. We just simply sit and react when the conditions present themselves. I don't know who's in the room today. Uh, I think we had like eight trades today or something. 
So this is what you can see at the page that uh, Keith put up there for you. Um, this is all the information. I just thought I'd put it here for you so you could take a quick look at it. If you're watching this on video, you can pause it. But you could go to that page, this this uh, URL right here, and uh, uh, get more information about it. This is from 2020 until 2023. So four years of data is collected here. All right, if you want to take a free trial, that, that link I put in there is still right there towards the bottom. You can sign up for a free trial of our trade room. You can also sign up for our event on Thursday, which, you know, I told you that there were two things you, did, you could do to get your emotions unraveled. And the first one was to stop thinking about and tracking money. We're going to talk about how to earn confidence. That's the second thing. Earning confidence. You can't trade successfully without it. If I could sell you a box of confidence, I definitely would. And it would be expensive, but it would be well worth it. But I can't. A lot of people want to pawn off confidence on somebody else. Because it's easier. It's easier than doing work, right? So what I'm telling you is you better not be pawning off. Say, you know, if I just say, hey, this works really good, you should use it. You should pay me a bunch of money and, I, and then you should use it. And, and I think, and I say you should use it and you should put all your confidence in me um, uh, because I'm a trustworthy guy and I've been doing this a long time. No. You got to earn your confidence before you start trading with real money. You start trading live and you got to work at it. You earn it by practicing. We're going to talk about that on Thursday. And for those of you that have come here today or watching this on video, maybe the night after we did it, I'm going to offer you a 20% discount on anything and everything in our store. I didn't put an expiration date on this, but I think it's the end of next week. Okay, everybody, have a great rest of your evening. See you all very soon.